everyone, I'm Whitney and I post a new sewing or crafting tutorial here on Whitney Sews every single Wednesday. And so today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy leather scarf cuff and also show you how to install a metal snap. I currently have a lot of leather in my stash because I tend to buy these grab bags of leather at Hobby Lobby. They are affordable, especially if you use your 40% off coupon and you get all sorts of fun leather pieces in them. And so I went through my entire leather stash and pulled out a few pieces that I thought would be good contenders for a scarf cuff. I like the more natural look, so I decided to go with this fun piece that didn't need any cutting. Try the leather with your scarf to make sure it's a good size and length and then trim it if needed. Decide where you want the snaps to be placed. For this project we're using metal snaps. If you didn't see my last video where I showed how to install plastic snaps then you definitely need to go watch it. I talked about all the different parts of a snap and where each piece needs to go in association with your project and all those things apply with metal snaps as well. The two biggest differences between plastic snaps and metal snaps are the stems. On a plastic snap, the stem is pointed and it is solid. And on a metal snap, it is not pointed and it's hollow, so the center part is larger and instead of using an awl to poke a hole, you have to use a punch to actually create a larger hole for the stem to go into. Now the other difference is how you set the snap. For a plastic snap, you can use a pair of snap setting pliers, but for metal snaps, you need to use an anvil and a setting rod as well as a mallet. I'll link to this snap set that I have below. It is a perfect beginner starting set. You will get the anvil and the setting rod as well as 20 sets of snaps. And so all that you will need is your punch, and a mallet and then you are ready to go. Punch your holes where you decided they would need to be. I'm using the smaller punch that's on my crocodile dial and it is exactly the right size. Then put your snap pieces in like I showed in the last video. Instead of resting the cap in the setting pliers, rest it on the curved side of the anvil. Place the narrow tip of the rod into the stem and carefully strike the top of the rod with a wooden, leather covered, or rubber mallet a few times until the snap is completely set into place. Set both halves of your snap and your cuff is technically done. but I wanted to personalize mine. And you can use several different things to personalize your cuffs. I considered a fabric covered button, um, some beads or some stones, and my stones weren't quite large enough on their own, so I used some E6000 to glue a few of them to a small scrap of thin leather and then let it dry for an hour or two. Then I took the cuff outside and carefully scratched the back of the snap against some concrete so the E6000 would have a rough surface to grip onto. I glued the two pieces together and let it dry a few hours and then my awesome scarf cuff was done. I hope you like this tutorial and like I said before, I have a ton of leather in my stash so if you want to see more projects that incorporate leather, let me know in the comments down below because I can definitely make that happen. Oh, and if you didn't notice already, this cuff can be made on a larger scale so that it actually fits around your wrist for a fun, stylish bracelet. If you want to make your own scarf with a hidden zipper pocket, then you can watch my tutorial by clicking the link right over here to the side. Subscribe if you haven't already by clicking my picture right down there. And then come back next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye!